Carolina Republicans across this state, essentially questioning Governor Romney's commitment on this issue, saying that he has changed his position on the abortion issue. If you recall, I moderated a debate back in New Hampshire in June. There were seven candidates, then we have four tonight. But when this came up, we talked about it briefly, and then I asked, is this a fair game, an issue in this campaign, or is it case closed? Mr. Kane, who was with us at the time, said case closed, and I paused. No one else took the opportunity to speak up. If it was case closed then, why is it a legitimate issue now? You just said nobody else spoke. So nobody else said, yes, it's case closed. I mean, that Herman Cain said it was case closed. The rest of us were, didn't, it wasn't a, a particular issue we wanted to fight that night. I mean, we are allowed to run our own campaigns, John. It's not an automatic requirement that we fit in your debate schedule. Um, this is, look, this is a very straightforward question. Governor Romney, and I, and I accept this, I mean, Governor Romney has said that he had a, an experience in a lab and became pro-life, and, and I, I accept that. After he became pro-life, Romney Care does pay for tax-paid abortions. Romney Care has written into it Planned Parenthood, the largest abortion provider in the country, by name, does not have any right to life group written into it. He did appoint pro-abortion judges, and a branch of the government, which included his appointees, did agree to fund an abortion clinic for Planned Parenthood. All that occurred after he had become pro-life. Now, those are all facts which we validated, and it seems to me that's a legitimate part of the campaign, is to say, okay, if you're genuinely pro-life, how come these things are occurring? Governor Romney, he questions whether you're genuinely pro-life. Uh, I'm not questioned on character or integrity very often. And... Uh, I don't feel like standing here for that, but let me clarify the things which are wrong and what the speaker just said. Uh, and, and he can get a, a scintilla of truth in there to make it seem like this is a significant issue. But let's go through one by one. First, in Romney Care, there's no mention of abortion whatsoever. The courts in Massachusetts, the Supreme Court, was the body that decided that all uh, times that there was any subsidy of health care in Massachusetts, that one received uh, abortion care. That was not done by the legislature. It would not be done by me either. I would have vetoed such a thing. That was done by the courts, not by the legislature, by me. Number two, it's true. Somewhere in that bill of ours, 70 pages, there's the mention of the word Planned Parenthood. But it describes a person on a technical advisory board about payment structures. There's no requirement or no, no participation of, of Planned Parenthood in our health care plan. Uh, with regards to judges, I appointed probably 50 or 60 judges at the trial court level mostly, the great majority. These were former prosecutors, 80% of them former prosecutors. We don't have a litmus test for appointing judges, asking them if they're pro-life or not pro-life. These are people going after crimes and, and, uh, and, and, and the like. I didn't get to appoint any Supreme Court justices. I, I am pro-life. And the Massachusetts Citizens for Life and several other uh, family-oriented groups wrote a letter two weeks ago and said they'd watch my record that I was an avidly pro-life governor I am a pro-life governor, I am a pro-life individual, and, and I, I have to be honest here, it is, uh, uh, this is not the time to be doubting people's words or questioning their integrity. I am pro-life, by the way, is there any possibility that I've ever made a mistake in that regard? I didn't see something that I should have seen? Possibly. But you can count on me as President of the United States to pursue a, a policy that protects the life of the unborn, whether here in this country or overseas. And I'll reverse the policies of this President. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, he says you're questioning his intent.